Hi, things going on? It's getting good actually. I've, I've got over a hurdle with this, so Drew, you'll be happy. I want to show you something. Back in 19, I've tried to work the date out, but who cares? When I went from middle school to high school, the woodworking teacher had got one of those benches and he'd got all the tools and all the students with low stuff and it was all low down and his stuff was a bit higher and he was tall. I've got to tell you, his nickname was Plank, which I think is brilliant. Anyhow, um, and he used to live down the street from my mum years before, so my mum knew him. And when I said his name, she said, oh, I used to... He used to live down the road from it, which I think is brilliant. Anyhow, Plank, he was great. Really good woodworker. On his bench were two planes. And these two planes baffled me. And I thought they were brilliant. And I'm going to show you. Now bear with me, because I'm going to try and do this without putting my um, phone in the stand. Right. I bought this a couple of years ago because this is the plane. And if you don't know what it is, you can tell it's German. And it is the 711, there you go, 711, 48 mil wide. It's the Primus Primus Reform. It's, it's, the, it's, it's the one to get. Now, this isn't the only one I've got. I'll show you something else in a sec. Let's get it out. Right, this is one plane that they really do say you can use it straight from the box. And whilst this hasn't done much, I have actually used it from the box. What I'm going to say is they do this in beech, hornbeam and cherry. This is the cherry. And the base here with this fancy little toothing comb joint is Lignum Vita. And this plane is absolutely brilliant because it has no backlash. And this is what I saw at school all those years ago, sitting on the back of the bench like that. And I was just like, wow, it looks technical and it's wooden and it just looks brilliant. And I was just, and I always said to myself, one day I'm going to know about these, I'm going to understand them, because it looks really complicated, there's all sorts going on, but we'll get to that in a minute. So it's the ECE Emmerich Primus, made in West Germany, and the good thing about this, the beautiful, the number of beautiful things about this plane is you get no backlash. There is no backlash at all, because what's happening is, see that bar? running through there to this knob at the back. It's almost got two adjusters. This is pushing that bar up and down. So when you turn it back, the blade comes back, but then you can carry on planing. And when you wind it up, you wind it up. And there's a huge spring in here that takes up the slack. There's bits of metal that are, you can just see, see the grain's not quite straight there. There's a piece of metal in there to hold the threaded bar. And then there's other bits going on inside there. And then somewhere in here, there's two pieces of metal. I'll show you that in a sec. Anyhow, it also, you can close the mouth up. So the mouth will close and open, which is great. The lignum is gorgeous. Look at the color of that. The lignum is gorgeous. So. Don't be scared of these planes. They are greatly underestimated, massively underestimated. So much so, I'm going to show you what I've just managed to get hold of. This came the other day. And and This is it. And this came. And it's in a bit of a it's in a bit of a mess. But that one, in some places, that's £288. In some places you can get that for about £180. I paid just 
about forty pound for this in this state. So an absolute bargain. It's been damaged a little bit, so I can sort that. Um, so really, this is an introduction to two or three videos that are going to be the restoration of this one. How to use these planes will be the next one. And then the third one, I'm going to customise this plane. I'm going to make this plane do, make it the most ergonomic. Now, when you use them, your hand wraps around the back here. And for me, with my arthritis, that's stretching the hand a bit too much. So I'm going to take some more of this out. I'm going to ease the handle around here so that this bump here isn't so proud inside my hand down there. Look where that bump is not particularly comfortable. As you can see, this has had a bit of a rough... Oh, I haven't shown you the bottom of one. So there's the bottom. Um, and the... That isn't fitting. So let's just have a quick look. In fact, I'll, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll strip this down now and see exactly what's wrong with it. Right, the first thing to do. Well, the first thing I noticed was the blade was sticking out way too far. So let's take the pressure off. Now, don't forget this adjustment lever here takes the pressure off that. I'm going to take that out and show you what it looks like. So to do this, I'm actually going to take this adjustment right out there's no point in leaving it in there it's going to come out because um, it's going to be need to be cleaned up which I'm not doing today I'm just going to find out if it's all here where are the problems and then the next video will be restoring it but I need to know all the parts here oh and I should point out as well the box was rattling the box was rattling a lot a lot more than it should have done so there's the adjuster, and I like that. I like the fact it's got a big head on it, which means you've got more fine adjustment. Finer than you would have with a Stanley. That's bigger than a Stanley adjuster. Right, so then we're going to go to this. Let's get some light on it. Let's going to go to the back knob here. So that's moving around there as I'm moving this. This comes out. That should come out. There's, there's a spring missing. Oh, for heaven's sake. There's a spring missing. Right, there's the blade. Here's the blade. Here's the cap iron. Here's the regulator. I don't really get the regulator yet. It doesn't really make that much sense. The really cool thing about this is, look, is if you know anything about Carl Holty, he puts three points where the blade touches one right down there in the escapement and two points like this which ec emmerich do so i wonder where carl holty got his idea from about doing this mm. i'm a spring missing which i'm sort of gutted about because this why isn't that coming out that should come out because you turn it that way upright and it comes out because there's two bars in here hang on Oh, oh, the spring's in there. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang, oh, somebody's put it together the wrong way. Somebody has put it, right. Right, okay, this makes sense now. Taking this apart, more parts, knob, washer, spring the spring should be in the back the spring should go in the back and there are the two bars that hold the spring and the washer so that's good okay now the good thing is we've got a new one here that's hardly been used so i can check the setup but i think that's that is that's all we need oh brilliant oh i thought there was a part missing Oh, well, there you go. Right, let's get this off. So this is screwdriver job. Let's take that out. Full of dust. Ugh. Full of dust. It's been used very lightly. 
There's some muck in there. Right, let's clean that out. Move this, let's clean that out. some muck in there still. Let's just push that muck out with that. with that. Okay, so that's clean now. Let's put that back together. That goes in there. That's better. It's still a bit proud, but you can plane this off. It could be that muck on there. There's a bit of muck on there. Let me sort this out. Right, okay, I can see what's happening. See the somebody's over tightened it. See that split there. Somebody's over tightened that, and that's caused some damage. Oh, that's a shame. It's not split this end, but it's split there. Okay. Right. Well, I need to cramp glue. Put some glue in there. Cramp it back up, and sort that out. I might take this out. Let's have a look. And that's full of muck as well. Okay. Okay. Well, I can sort. This is this is all doable. Get the muck out of there. So you see that crack there? I'm going to glue that up. Put some glue in. Repair that. Thing is, with this plane, all the parts here that's got damp, and it's gone. Looks like it's gone rusty. So that's got damp. So I think the whole plane's got damp. I mean, look at that. <sighs> that's a project in itself. Is it rusty on the back? Not much. It's, hard, it's hardly been used. In fact, look at that. I'd say that's not been used properly. At least it was set up properly. All that'll come off. We've got ourselves a fab plane here. I mean, that's fab because it's new. But this is going to be a custom version of that, which I think will just blow everybody's socks off. Let's get some glue in there, sort that out. Right, so there's the... There's the gap, let's push that in there with a stick. So basically just pushing it in. I'll give this a wipe off. In there, down here, down there. Right, let's just let's just do that. Right. And you know something, it doesn't hurt. Let's put the glue on there. It doesn't hurt to rub that in and stop that absorbing any more moisture. I can rub this glue down after. But you can see the glue's in the crack now. Let's get a G-cramp on that. It's the beauty of having vice like this. Let's wind that up. Wrong way. Have you ever seen anybody do that? No. You will. One-handed. We're in. Glue's in out. Right, that's tightened up. So that's that done. Right, let's have a quick look inside. Actually, the instructions should show us how to how it goes together. There you go. Is instruction so this is what it looks like inside. Um, should we follow the English instructions? Might make it a bit easier. So, oh, it doesn't tell you where the washer is. So, we've got that, we've got the knob, we've got the spring, 
we don't know where the washer goes it looks like the washer is in between the spring and the knob well let's take this one apart and have a look straight away washers there so the washer is in between is in between the spring and the knob okay that's great put it back together right let's put it back together then it looks like it's been mashed around inside there i think he whoever did it um had some fun with it when it's it's seen a lot of dust and work um not work a lot of muck it hasn't been looked after there's a dent there look at that dent white paint down here it's actually in pretty good nick it's actually pretty good the good thing is there's no delamination of the comb joint. There's a little bit of filler that's gone on in there, but that was done by the manufacturer. I can see that, okay. That's a shame, that's a bit of a dent. We'll get that dent out. I might have to carve round here. Um, it's been battered a bit. The varnish that they use is a protective varnish. It's not to make it look pretty particularly, it's to protect it. But I think I might oil it instead. And look, can you see inside? It's really quite dry. So it'd be nice to get some coats on this. And this is their problem, I think, is they don't seal the wood everywhere. And if they did seal it everywhere, they wouldn't move as much. And I think that's what's happened to that thing. Anyhow, it's looking good. Right, let's put this together. Blade goes in there. Oh, let's, I can't put the bottom thing in. We'll forget that for now. Blade goes in there. Then, right, and this is an important thing. This is the bit to show you. The when the adjuster, when the adjuster inside is doing its thing, it actually comes up against that shoulder there. So this says open top, and what that means is that's the up. If it's that way round, it's the wrong way round. If it's the red showing, it's the right way round. So let's just put, let's put that in there. Hang on. Right, fiddly little thing. Okay, so that's done. So then the spring goes in, which hits those two pieces of metal I've just shown you, those two bars. Then the washer goes on. The washer looks like it could do with a good clean. Then the adjuster knob, the tension knob. So you can see if I move this, that moves as well. So look, see how the blade's coming up and out as I tighten that up? See it coming up? And it'll keep coming up. And if you look inside, it's miles inside now because it hasn't got this in place. So this then provides the downward force. So this has to go in, in there. And then start watching this going down in a sec. See it going down. And if you want to go down further, you release the tension on the back here. Release the tension, that's really tight. So I've got to release that because it's too tight. Release the tension there, tighten that down. Check the tension, it's not too tight, it's fine. Tighten that down a bit more. Release the tension. Is the blade anywhere near near the bottom yet? It's not far off. Right, for now, that's all I can do. Because this has got to go back together. So next video, you'll see this. Um, we'll, have, we'll get on with a bit of this. But it'll be working. I can't. I need to leave it a day or so now for that to dry put that back in I'll clean the muck off that 
and then that can go in there i think for the custom version i'm going to do a piece of leather or something around there to stop the dust and muck going inside because that is part of its problem dust and muck falls inside that hole and then when you adjust it you really need to take it apart but if you don't take it apart muck starts coming out and then suddenly that foot becomes a plate problem and people want it to go in and it won't tighten up because of the muck but and they over tighten it which is what's happened there so right thanks for watching